peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. If you don't listen to your heart, you may suffer along the way. I've had to learn the hard way, and I realize that my heart has always been sending messages to me. And I feel it sends messages to all of us. And a lot of the times we feel it doesn't matter because my brain, my mind is telling me something else. And it's amazing how so many of us, we use logic instead of feeling. And I've realized that the heart knows what the mind can only dream about. Intuition is connected to the heart. And that's why children are so powerful because they are living in their intuitive knowing. And the first voice is the right one. When you know it in your heart, then that is the truth for you. And it's amazing because a lot of us, we're stuck in our brain. We're living in analysis. We're analyzing everything. But analysis is paralysis. And when you listen to your heart, I've just seen that it will never let you down because your heart inspires you, brings you happiness, it expands you. It tells you things that you would overlook otherwise. Certain people's energies, when you feel in your heart, you realize everything becomes clearer. And a lot of us, we don't wanna feel because when you open up your heart space, you realize the responsibility that you have. And that's why so many of us, we shut our hearts down. Because being insensitive in this world seems like the thing to be. When you don't feel anything, you walk around like a brick, like a glass, but what happens to glass? Glass shatters, it breaks. And that's how so many of us are on the planet, we're wounded. We're putting up all of these defenses. But for me, when I listen to my heart, it tells me you have nothing to fear. Because we came into this world to live to our full potential, to live in abundance. And it's something so simple. But at the same time, because it's so simple, a lot of us, we don't even listen to our natural intuition. And we close our hearts down, not only through our own internal condition, but through the media also helps us shut our hearts down. The television, the radio, all of these distractions some of them may awaken our heart again, but at the same time, largely, they take us away from ourselves and we externalize everything. And a lot of women, they're always told, don't trust your feelings. Even a lot of men, even men have it worse because if we live in our emotions, if we live in our hearts, if we live in our feeling, then we're called pussies. We're called all kinds of things. So. It's no wonder so many people aren't living in their heart space because it's seen as a sign of weakness. But when you actually see things in a holistic way, you realize that weakness is actually your greatest strength. What you perceive as weakness is your greatest strength. In ancient times, they had oracles. You had an oracle, Oracle of Delphi. These women who were connected to their heart space in ancient Greece and Kemet, Samaria even, who were connected to their heart space and they would tell generals about wars and they would tell them about their daily affairs because they, they knew everything because they were tapped into their heart space. They were listening to their heart space. Therefore, they were interacting with the frequencies around them. They were able to see into the future because the future is actually happening right now. And when you tune into your heart, you become aware of that. And it's beautiful. I'm listening to my heart more and more and I'm activating my right brain hemisphere because the right brain, 
deals with creativity, feeling, and this is the part of the brain which has been shut down in humanity. Many of us, we're living in a left brain hemisphere, which is all about logic, which is all about hard evidence and linear way. And the heart is just so free. It's so creative. It's so bizarre. You realize we came here to have fun. We came here to live for today, to imagine like that John Lennon song. Imagine a world where anything is possible. And when you listen to your heart, then anything can become possible for you. Infinite waters diving deep once again with one hand on my heart. Peace.